Hello, and welcome to the forum. Every week, we take no more than 15 minutes to discuss the three highest conviction ideas surfaced across the Smart Karma network, cutting through the noise and helping you zero in on what truly matters most. The live forum and Q&A session are exclusively available to Smart Karma Plus subscribers. You can always revisit previous episodes on this YouTube channel. Without further ado, let's dive into this week's ideas. Very good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the weekly Smart Karma Forum. As a reminder, the forum is a high impact weekly webinar exclusive for Smart Karma Plus subscribers. We use this to discuss some of the best, highest conviction insights as surfaced across the network. A reminder, the forum is meant purely for informational purposes and does not constitute investment advice. It is the opinion not of Smart Karma, but that of our insight providers. And lastly, Chatham House Rule applies. So please do not share any of this information on social media or any other public forum without express permission. Every week we bring to you three topical ideas as surface across the network. These tend to be small and mid caps, large and mega caps, and also important themes that we think are pertinent to discuss with you. At the end of the week, we take video recordings of the, of the forum and upload them on our YouTube channel so that in case you've missed prior forums and want to catch up, you can do so at your own time and pace. Today, we will be looking at three key ideas, starting with GoTo, also known as GoCheck Tokopedia. This is a recent listing in Indonesia, and we will discuss its path to profitability. Next, we will move to the US market, and we will look at Intel Corp, which is one of the biggest mm -hmm. laggards um, across the large big techs in the US. And third, we will look at the casino market in Asia. And quite uniquely, we will look at a potential uh, opening in Thailand. If at any time you have questions, you can um, send them in using the Q&A button on your Zoom application. You can also post questions on the Smart Karma platform for analysts to respond to directly. Let's kick off with GoTo. Um, GoTo is listed in Indonesia. The ticker is GOTO space IJ. This is a $27 billion market cap. It's a top three stock in the market, and it provides a very unique exposure to the digital economy in Indonesia. We've covered this name for a very long time before it got listed and continue to focus on it very closely. A few key points, if you're not aware, so GoTo is a, a merger between Gojek and Tokopedia. They offer a full digital platform, which includes e-commerce, mobility, food delivery, logistics, fintech solutions, um, ride hailing, et cetera. Uh, all of it is enabled through proprietary unique digital platforms and apps that GoTo operates and maintains. Uh, we just saw the first quarter numbers for the business. It was encouraging to see that take rates for the overall business have improved. Revenue growth was strong at 53% year on year. We also noticed that 29% more annual transactions amongst users on a year on year basis and each user generating almost 18% more revenue for the company. We're starting to see a higher synergies between the Gojek and Tokopedia platform which is resulting in this higher spend. People are buying on Tokopedia, delivering via Gojek and paying using GoPay. We noticed the positive guidance for the second quarter and we continue to see GoTo as a very unique digital proxy to a fast growing economy such as Indonesia. Um, Grab in Singapore is a close comparable, although it offers a slightly different exposure and mix. For instance, Grab does not have an e-commerce offering uh, unlike GoTo does. M moving on to Intel. Now, as I was mentioning, uh, you can see from the chart on the right hand side as well, Intel has been a real laggard. It is, it is a mega cap, you know, $180 billion in market cap. And today we're going to show you a very different way of looking at Intel. Um, Piari Menon, an analyst on the Smart Karma platform, uh, looks at technical literature. So things like patent filings that companies publish in order 
to figure out how leadership patterns might change, if at all, in the future. First things, so I think we've all heard of Intel, but just in case we haven't, Intel manufactures and sells computer components. Um, back in the day, it used to be the leading uh, manufacturer of microprocessors, microprocessors and chipsets that used to go into all our computers. Over the last few years, its dominance has been, um, has come under pressure. AMD, for instance, has vastly outperformed Intel. Um, now, the key conclusion that Perry makes uh, from looking at the data is that if and perhaps only if Intel adapts and starts using TSMC for its next generation products, could it close the gap that AMD currently has? AMD, um, you know, Intel has led AMD in semicon design and manufacturing, but TSMC is innovating much ahead of Intel on the manufacturing front, and AMD has benefited greatly from using TSMC. Now, over the next few years, it's really incumbent on Intel to rethink how it uh, handles that gap. And part of the way in which it could bridge that is also come back to TSMC. So we would be looking out for any strategic or significant developments on this front. And that would make us increasingly more positive on Intel from a technical leadership perspective. Lastly, in our thematic section today, we will look at Asia's casino sector, especially on um, developments in Thailand. Uh, the casino sector is uh, an increasing way, way to play consumption and affluence in Asia. And this is covered by Howard J. Klein on the platform. So key points here. First of all, a special committee of the Thai legislative is looking to issue a report on the legalization of casinos in Thailand. Uh, should the report be favorable, it will be a game changer for not only Thailand, but also perhaps the whole Asian gaming sector. Um, now, Howard has gone on to look at who could be the top two players to win licenses, should this materialize. The first is Las Vegas Sand, LVS, who also operate uh, resorts in Macau, as well as Singapore. Uh, they have a $6.7 billion in cash. That means they would not require a partner to pull it off. Second would be Galaxy Entertainment Group. This is 27 Hong Kong. It's listed uh, in the Hong Kong market. It has 27 billion Hong Kong dollars of cash on the books as well. So they have a very attractive profile. Now, both of these stocks are trading at rock bottom share prices and valuations. Part of the reason has been the shutdowns in China, in Macau, um, general lack of mobility elsewhere. But if you were to take a three-year view out from here and the significant cash buffer plus catalysts such as Thailand, then we're suddenly starting to look quite constructively on this space. And with that, I'm at the end of today's forum. If you have any questions, now's the time to ask. Else please uh, post them on the platform and look out for responses from analysts directly. Fantastic. So with this, we're going to wrap up today's forum and look forward to speaking to you soon next week. Bye-bye. That's it for this week. You can find more ideas like the ones we discussed today on demand on our YouTube channel. Remember to subscribe and hit the notification button. If you like these ideas, spread the word. Tell a fellow investor about Smart Karma Plus and follow us on social media. Just search for Smart Karma. And of course, don't forget to visit smartkarma.com for more independent, differentiated investment insights. Thanks for watching and see you next week.